This is a tutorial about how to do ROI analysis in FSL. Remember that ROI analysis requires two steps. One, creating a mask for our region of interest, and two, extracting data from that mask. Today, we will explore two ways of creating masks. One way is to create a spherical mask using the command FSL maths. Another way is to create a mask of the motor cortex using the atlases that come with FSL. Then we will extract data from those masks using feed query. So if you're ready, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm going to be in the directory downloaded from the feed2 multi-level practical. A link to that directory is provided in the text box below. Let's open up FSL and look at the default registration for feet. Note that the template is an MNI 2mm template. This template and other templates are located in the directory fsldir slash data slash standard. Note that all of these templates are in MNI space. We can look at this template by typing FSL view in the command line. From here, we select File, Open Standard, and then select the MNI template we used for registration. If I want to create a mask around the MNI coordinates 0, 30, 30, I first enter those coordinates in the fields located here. And then note the corresponding X, Y, and Z coordinates, which are voxel coordinates. Next, I use FSL Maths to create a 5 mm spherical mask around those coordinates. I specify the image I want to use as a canvas to draw my mask onto. In this case, the MNI 152 2mm template. And then enter the coordinates of my mask, taken from the XYZ fields in FSL view. I label the output ACC point. Details about this command and its options can be found in the text box below. Now let's take a look at what we just created with that command. It's called ACC point because it's a single point on those coordinates, and we do see that it is marked in white in FSL view. Next, we're going to use FSL mass to create a sphere around that point using the kernel and sphere options along with a 5 millimeter radius, and we're going to call the output ACC sphere. Now, let's take a look at what the mask looks like. We click Add and then select ACC sphere. We now have a 5 millimeter spherical mask around the point we just created. However, note that the intensity of the mask is not 1. This can be a problem if you use feet query to extract data from this mask, and you want to weight the data by the intensity of the mask. To make the mask have a value of 1, we're going to perform one more operation with FSL Maths. We're going to give it the BIN option to binarize the ACC sphere mask that we just created, and we're going to call it ACC sphere underscore bin. If we look at the resulting binarized mask, we find that this mask now has an intensity of 1 inside the mask and zeros everywhere else. You can use the masks you create with FSL with other tools such as AFNI or SPM. Just make sure to unzip that gzipped file and also make sure that the orientation and the dimensions of the image is the same as the data you're trying to extract from. We can also create masks through an atlas. We're going to create a mask of the right motor cortex and extract parameter estimates for left button presses. Let's take a look at our data. We have six subjects, and within each subject directory, there is a directory for each of two conditions, left motor responses and right motor responses. Let's take a look at the design matrix in design.png for the left motor response condition. In this file, there are three conditions index finger tapping, sequential finger tapping, and random finger tapping, as well as three time derivatives, one for each of those conditions. In total, we have six regressors, and we estimate a parameter for each regressor, which is output as a PE file. Also note that we have five contrasts. The first contrast is a weight of one for the index tapping condition, which we'll focus on for the rest of this tutorial. Next, we will use feed query to extract data from a mask. Since we've already run first level analyses for each subject, we will load each of those subjects left button response conditions into feed query. 
FeedQuery then interrogates the mask for each subject in that condition. In other words, it extracts the average parameter estimate for left button responses in the mask that we select. Once we've loaded each subject's feet directory, we see a list of the output in that directory. Parameter estimates, contrast of parameter estimates, and other statistics. We're going to select the first contrast, the index finger button response, and then click on Use Atlas to select a mask. Click on Julik Histological Atlas, and then select Label 47, the right primary motor cortex. If we then hit Go, FeedQuery would run an ROI analysis by extracting data from that mask for each subject. You can use this and be done with it, but before you go, I want to show you another method which will give you more flexibility in choosing your mask. Open up FSL View, and then open up the standard template that you've warped all your data to, in this case the MNI 2mm brain. Once you have that open, click on Tools, and then select Toolbars Atlas Tools. From here, select Structures and the Julik Atlas, just like we did with Feed Query. And here again, we can select the right primary motor cortex. Once we click on the plus sign, this will add that mask to our template. This is a probabilistic map. The intensity field shows the probability that the voxel belongs to the label that you selected. If the mask label is highlighted, you can save it by selecting File, Save As. We'll call this Write M1. Go back to Feed Query, go to Use Atlas, and select None. Then select the mask image as the right M1 mask that we just created. We're going to unselect Do Not Binarize Mask, and we're going to select Convert the Cope Values to Percentage, and then click Go. A series of windows will then pop up in your web browser, showing the ROI extraction for each subject. You'll get a list of statistics for the image, as well as the position of the mask, highlighted in yellow, in the subject's native space. For the image statistics, we're going to be focusing on the mean, which is the average parameter estimate across that mask for that subject, for that condition. Each of these analyses has created a subdirectory called Feed Query in each subject's directory. We'll take a look inside that in subject AC, AC left.feet, and the subdirectory Feed Query. Within it, we have the mask that was used, as well as a report.txt file. And within that txt file, you see the same fields that were reported in the HTML page. This number right here, in column number 6, is the mean of that ROI analysis. And we can then use a script to loop over all our subjects' feed query directories and extract that number. To do this, I use a for each loop, subject, and then the names of each of my subjects. I extract that report.txt file from each subject, and then I extract the sixth field using awk. I've put all these results into a file called writem1results.txt, and there are six numbers, one average parameter estimate for that mask for each subject. We can then put these numbers into a statistical software program, such as R, and test whether there's a significant effect of left button responses in the right motor cortex. In this case, there's only a trend towards significance, but that's probably because I have so few subjects. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and that you're now able to use FSL to extract data from any mask you choose. I wish you luck with your analyses, and we'll meet again soon.